In this video we're going to take a look at installing a third cam into our cam simulation and one of the first things we need to do is we're going to go ahead and bring in the cam and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag in a snail cam into our simulation file. I'm going to go ahead and get it into position. The cam is going to be kind of, this cam is going to be kind of interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this into roughly the position that I want it to be in and uh, actually with the way that it kind of had to have it in the document activity I'm going to turn it around about like this so that way it's in this position I'm going to go ahead and say OK. This cam does have a little interesting scenario so as I've noted in previous videos we want to make sure that the cam when it right when or the follower and the roller when it when uh, it's set on the cam we want it to be in the lowest position so looking at the snail cam many would go through and, and put it right on top if we installed this cam like this in the joint is this point up here at the top would be where the roller would sit we actually want that roller to be somewhere right about here where my mouse is at and we're going to do a little bit of editing and the one thing that um, you know as we've been working through this simulation we want to make sure that we are um, editing the joints and not just moving the component. So I'm going to go ahead and joint. I'm going to choose the rigid joint and I'm going to choose the outer edge of the circle where it gets black outline and the joint origin chip shows up on the outside edge and then I'm going to do the same thing here on the axle. Now we want to again want to make sure that, that that is going to be flush. It may take it a second to move into place but we want to make sure that that face of that cam is flush with the outside edge of the axle and we want to go ahead and offset it so I'm going to drag this into place this should be about 3.25 for the offset and we're going to go ahead and hit enter to approach that now again here's the issue is the snail cam if I drag this down is it's going to sit right on the top and you're going to notice because I have uh, the contact enabled so you saw this kind of move on us as we did that so I'm gonna go up here to assemble and I'm gonna say disable contact you can also go up here contact and say no contact so we really don't want any contact to go along so I'm gonna right click on Revolut 9 go back to the home position drink bring that down and you notice it's gonna it would sit on top of here that's actually the highest point for this cam so we're gonna need to adjust the position of the cam and it needs to come down to right about here on the lowest point but we can't have it interfere you'll notice we're kind of phasing into our snail cam so we don't want that to happen now one issue I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna revert this position by clicking up here so that way it takes that follower and roller back into it up into its original position because that's that 1.5 offset we don't want to mess with that because anytime we click and drag we're messing with that offset value and it's gonna showcase that there so what we're going to do here is we don't want to here's what a lot of people try to do is they try to move or copy and they try to select one you have to select components and then they try to go through and and try to rotate the component like this but you'll notice it's not rotating our component and the issue with that is is because we need to focus on the joint in that case so here is our joint because our joint we've got a rigid joint and the last one we applied if you look here it's always the joints get added in which order you create them so our last one would be dealing with our snail cam so I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna say edit joint now in this case you're gonna notice that if I turn this here to the to the side or even kind of rotate it like so I can even probably do this from the right side here we go and so here you can see roughly where a roller would be at so I'm gonna drag this here and I want to make sure that I kind of leave enough room I think I threw about a 20 degree angle on this so then that way when the roller comes down and makes contact it doesn't interfere with the edge and I'm gonna go ahead and say okay so again we want to make sure we're editing the joint and now here's our snail cam in the proper position so that way when I drag the follower down it's going to be sitting down here in the lowest position okay again I'm going to revert to put that in there because here's my next step is I'm going to just like how we've done before is I'm going to measure 
choose the bottom of the roller and then I'm going to go over here I want to make sure I'm going to zoom in here choose the top edge see what's highlighted and I want to make sure that that is being done so the smallest value the smallest distance because you'll see look at the, by looking at the arrows 0 0.957 or 957 thousandths of an inch I'm going to go ahead and go to my slider 42 which is this particular slider joint edit edit the joint add 957 thousandths to it and say OK and now you're going to see where it's in the proper placement for our snail cam and what I need to take a look at is I'm going to scroll down in my browser over here let me collapse the hexagon cam let me go ahead and edit this cam in place and let's go ahead and take a look at the sketch I'm going to right click on it edit sketch and we're going to take a look at well, what's the maximum displacement that this would have. This one's pretty easy in the case that we can just measure. I'm going to choose the center hole of the snail cam. I'm going to choose the outside edge of the, the very point, the very top. So is what you see. So you're going to notice from here to here, it's actually going to be one inch. So the overall outside circle is two inches. And then we're going to see one inch there. You know, as you start to look at that displacement from the center to the very outside edge, that's going to be one inch as well. So I'm going to say finish sketch. When I look to finish editing the, the cam, I can go up here to the slider 42, edit the joint limit. Our maximum will be a value of one inch. We are going to have a rest at zero, and I'm going to say OK. And now I can go back up here to assemble, enable all contact, and then as I take a look at this particular motion, now I will only be able to turn this in one direction. As I see it here, there we go. So here you're already starting to see, I think on this one, I, you see it kind of locked up on me for a second. But what you're going to end up seeing is there we go there's that cam now here's the thing that students may get confused with is if you go around backwards this cam would actually go through and get locked up uh, because of that flat face and that's not something really that can physically happen so you'll see even then I kinda have a little bit of trouble see it's kind of uh, processing and that's my computer that's kinda doing that so here's what I might do is I'm going to right click on the component and I'm going to say suppress features and I'm going to do that for the second one down here in the model history tree so that way I just have the one cam and you can see I get a lot smoother kind of motion going on from there but I can't go backwards even though fusion lets lets you do it notice how it's moving that follower up into place it's really not in the real world that's not allowed to happen so here that's what's going on with the cam so I can only turn this in the in the clockwise direction on our cam box with the snail cam all right so again you like I said if you have issues with your processing and you need to shut off a few cams you can right click on the component image and you can always say to suppress the features and that'll bring that back so this will go through I'm gonna move this back into the home position it already is in the home position so I don't have that particular icon but this is the third cam, the snail cam, in our simulation file. And the next one, we'll take a look at the heart cam. And we'll look at finishing up the simulation after that.